In this tutorial we're going to learn to synchronize animated objects on the slide with narration that's recorded in Articulate Presenter 360. To keep things simple what we're going to do is start with a blank slide. We'll insert some icons like we see here. We'll animate the icons and then we'll record some narration and synchronize the animations to our narration. So go ahead and open up a blank slide in PowerPoint. And the first thing we want to do is insert our icons. And you have some in the Practice folder. So go ahead and go to Insert, Pictures. And then you should see your icon folder. I'm going to select three icons. So I'm going to select the briefcase. I'm going to hold the Control key down. And then I'm going to select the clipboard and the notebook and hit Insert. And now I can see my icons here. I'm just going to move these into position. And we'll say for the tutorial this is fine. Now that I have my icons on the screen, I want to add some animation. So we're going to go to the Animations tab. And you can see I have some animation options here. To apply an animation, I'm going to select all three icons and go to the Animations tab. And I'm just going to choose Fade. And you'll see once I apply the animation, I have these little icons here that let me know that there's an animation associated with the object. Now if I preview this, you can see they fade in, but they all fade in at exactly the same time. And the reason is, is because of the timing of the animations. And this is a key point when you're working with Articulate Presenter 360. Whenever you want to synchronize animations to narration, you need to make sure that the animation is set to on-click animation. So if I select an object and I go to the Animations tab and then over to the Start icon here, You'll notice I have three ways to time my animations. I can do them by on-click. That means that it's waiting for the user to trigger it. Or I can do them automatically to trigger with the previous animation or after the animation. In this case, we want to make sure they're all set to on-click so that we can synchronize them to the narration. So go ahead and select all three objects. And then come up to the Start and select on-click. Now you can see that they're on click. And one way you can tell that is because now these little icons here have numbers in them. So the, the sequence is 1, 2, and 3. Now this is obviously out of sequence because we want this to be 1, 2, and 3. And I'm going to show you how to fix that. So go ahead and go to Animations, the Animation Pane. And you can see the objects here. If I hit Play All, you can see that they're fading in, but they're playing in the wrong sequence. And we're going to go ahead and set them to the right sequence. But before we do that, I want to show you a little tip in PowerPoint. You'll notice that the objects here, it's picture 16, 17, 18, well, that really means nothing. So I'm going to show you how we can change that. Let's go ahead and close this. Go to Home, and then Select, and Selection Pane. And that's going to show the objects you have on the screen. In the Selection Pane, you can change the stacking order right here by going up or down. You can hide or show objects. And the other thing you can do is double click and you can title them. So in this case, this is the notebook. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and close that. Now that they're titled, if I come back to the Animations tab and go to the Animation pane, I can see what's what. So I can see that the sequence is wrong. It's going to go briefcase, clipboard, notebook, but we actually want the notebook to be first. So we're going to select the notebook and then click the arrow and move that up. So now it should be notebook, briefcase, clipboard. So let's play it. And I can see that the animations are playing the way I want them to. So we've got our objects on the screen. We added animations. They're all set to on click and we know that they're happening in the right sequence. So let's go ahead and record our narration. Now one thing I'll point out is down in the Notes panel here, a lot of people will use that for their narration transcript. So I went ahead and put a little script in here. And I'll just read that script when we record our narration. So let's go to the Articulate tab. And we're going to select Narration. And that's going to open up this narration window. Now you'll notice up on top you can record or import your narration. You can play it back here. You can synchronize your animations. You can have some slide controls. Here are your annotations. Over here are the notes that we have in our PowerPoint notes that we're going to use as our script. Over here we see our slides. And then down here we have a timeline. And as I add my narration, you're going to see that on the timeline. 
If we had annotations, you would see that. And then you also notice these little icons here, and that lets me know that these are animations that I have on the slide. And right now they're not timed to anything, so they're just on the slide. What we're going to do is record our narration, and we're going to synchronize our animations at the same time. Now sometimes you mess up, and I'm going to show you how to fix that. I'll also add a little bit of extra audio, so then I'll show you how we clean that audio out as well. So let's go ahead and click on Record. You can see it says Next Animation. So let's read our script. Here are some icons. This is a notebook. This is a briefcase. And this is a clipboard. Now you'll notice I kept pressing on this to synchronize the animation. And I'm also getting this extra audio. So we're going to hit Stop Record. If I want to play back what I did, I can play it back. You can see it says Next Animation. So let's read our script. And it should come up right here. This is a notebook. All right. So we're fine for right now. You can see if I need to make adjustments, I can move them around here. I do have some extra audio in here, and I can actually tell by the waveform that this is this is the first part of it. So I'm going to move these into position knowing that uh, this is where they should be. Now I do have my audio here that needs to be fixed, so I'm going to go to my audio editor and fix that later. So let's go ahead and listen to this. Now if you find that the the animation syncing is off, you can record your audio, play it back, and then you can sync your animations using the sync animations. So we're going to go ahead and hit sync animations to show you how that works. You click on sync animations, it's going to play the audio, and then you're going to trigger your animations here. And I'm going to click Done Syncing. So there's two ways you can do it. You can record your narration and sync at the same time. Or you can record your narration and then when that's recorded, sync animation separately. So we've got our narration recorded. We've got our animations synchronized. I can see they're a little off. I'm going to move those here and I'll be happy with those. And I can preview those if I want to. I'm going to go ahead and hit Save and Close. So we've got our animations. Everything's fine. I want to go to the Audio Editor and get rid of some of that extra audio. So go ahead and click on that. All right, and that opens up this Audio Editor. And we're on the slide here, and you can see that I have my slide. You can also see the little animation triggers. And when I mouse over them, it gives me the names of the objects. So titling the objects really comes in handy because you can see exactly what you're doing. I'm going to play this because we want to cut some of the audio out of here. Now you'll notice that up here it's all pretty straightforward. I can select audio and hit delete. I can add silence. I can increase the volume. It's all pretty straightforward. We're going to go ahead and let's play the audio from the beginning. You can see it says next animation. So let's read our script. Here are some icons. Okay, so I know from here to here is a bunch of junk. So I'm going to select it and hit Delete. Now I can listen to it. I should actually see my animation triggers here. Here are some icons. This is a notebook. This is a briefcase. And this is a clipboard. And then here's the end where I want it to cut. So I'm going to select these. Now let's say I wanted all this timing, but I want it to be silent. I can hit Silence. It makes it silent, but I don't really want that. So I'm just going to select this extra stuff that I don't need, and I'm just going to hit Delete. And now I've got my slide. If I click on this, I can see the slide should work perfectly, and I can see my animations. Here are some icons. This is a notebook. All right, we'll assume everything's okay. Hit Save and Close. And that's basically it. So we're going to go ahead and preview this and see what it looks like. So we're going to preview this slide. I can hear my audio, and I can see that the animations are happening exactly the way I want them to. Then you can also preview one of these other mobile modes to see what it looks like on a mobile device using the responsive player. 
You can see it's all working the way you want it to work. And that's basically it. So when you're working with PowerPoint and Presenter 360, you want to add objects on the screen. If you want to animate those, uh, you can do that. If you want to synchronize narration to the animations, make sure the animations are set to on click. And then just record and synchronize your animations. Go ahead and watch the other tutorials to learn more about working with Articulate Presenter 360. Then again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to jump in the community and ask. We're always there to help you.